Hey guys, it's Shada. Today I have another fun craft tutorial for you. These little felted acorns are a perfect introduction to the craft of needle felting. Or if you're a seasoned felter, then they're just a seasonal, wintry, touchable decor item that you can use in your home throughout the holidays and beyond. So these little acorns are made by simply felting a ball. So you're going to make a ball or a sphere and then glue it onto the acorn tops that you can find on the forest floor. So that's what makes this a great intro. It's a very simple shape, just a sphere. And you're going to want to grab some of those acorn tops if you're out for a walk in the forest. And you're also going to need some roving. And roving is unspun wool. So you can see it's been slightly processed since the time that it was on the sheep. It has been colored and pulled a little, but it hasn't been spun into the yarn that we so often associate with real wool. So roving or unspun wool is what you need for this craft. I'll link it in the description or you can find it at craft stores or wool mills. And you'll also need felting needles. Now these are special needles. I've got mine in my little owl pin cushion here and uh, they're made up of a smooth handle at the top and then the bottom is this thin pointy barbed needle and the barbs are there to help tangle and condense the wool fibers and that's how you do the craft you use these needles to tangle the fibers and sculpt the roving the additional supplies are a hot glue gun scissors and then if you want to make the acorns into tree ornaments ribbon or twine all right, here's how we're going to do this. Grab your needle and your um, acorn top and most importantly grab a nice piece of wool roving. I'm using brown and you're going to take that roving and you're going to roll it up into a little ball. Try to roll it nice and tight and if you need to you can pull off a little bit if you feel like the, uh, the ball is getting too large. While you're rolling, you can also sort of roll it in your palms to help shape it into a ball. Try to keep it nice and tight, and then right away, don't let go of it, start jabbing it a little bit with that needle. Shape it as you need to and jab it some more, and you, you'll be able to see right off the bat, that ball is going to be way too big for the acorn top, but that's because felting is tangling and condensing those fibers and so this ball is going to get much smaller as you work it. So here I'm just jabbing, jabbing, jabbing repeatedly with my needle, rolling it a little to help shape it. And there you can see that's probably three or four minutes. It's already getting smaller. I'm going to continue to work it though. It's not quite done. I've got a ways to go. Probably going to felt it here, which felting just means the process of jabbing it with the needle. So I'm going to work it for another few minutes. And now you can see that little hat <laughs> fits on a lot better. And that's felted. And I can tell that it's felted because it's harder to the touch, so it's not soft and squishy, and there aren't a lot of fuzzy fibers sticking off it. Although there will be some, and that's why you can give it this little haircut. And that's it. It's really just that simple. You can do a few of them, and once you've done a bunch, then get out that hot glue gun, and it's time to glue them together. And all I do is I take my hot glue gun and I put a nice big dollop of glue. If I do have some strings, I try to get rid of them before I grab the felted ball. And then all you do is take your little felted sphere and just squish it into the acorn top and that glue will form a fairly permanent bond. Hot glue plus raw wool is uh, <laughs> works together quite well. It's not going to come apart. And here I'm just gluing together one more that I had already. I've got a little green one there. I'm just going to squish it together. That glue will form an almost instant bond. And then at this point, you can go back in and carefully shape them a, a little bit further if you like. I like the look of the round sort of funny acorn, but you could make them pointy at the bottom. And then at this point, if you want to, you can decide, do you want them to be tree ornaments? It's great if you can find these little join tops. They make beautiful ornaments, and that's what I've done with this one here. But uh, to be honest, I prefer them just on their own. I think they look great as sort of this fun, touchable coffee table decor, and I just put a whole bunch in a bowl with some pine cones and some other acorns. Thanks for watching today guys. If you enjoyed the video, please don't hesitate to hit like and subscribe and help me reach 50,000 subscribers. See you Friday with a new tutorial.